Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Welcome to the program. You know, more than 6.5 million American children have been diagnosed with ADHD. Uh, basically, you know, parents uh, believe, uh, based upon perhaps what the teachers uh, are telling them, that their child cannot pay attention in class. And really, a very compelling part of that statistic is that two-thirds of these children are being placed on medication. Well, there's been a lot of talk as to the role of diet in uh, paving the way for a child to be able to focus, for example. And a lot of research has been done, for example, looking at the omega-3 DHA. More recently, uh, the notion that inflammation in a child's body might be playing a role in terms of his or her lack of ability to remain focused has really gained a lot of attention. What we understand is that when we nurture gut bacteria, it tends to reduce inflammation in the body. So you may wonder then, could there be some correlation between the amount of fiber that a child consumes and his or her ability to pay attention? In other words, remain uh, on task and become less distracted. Let's take a look at a study. So this is actually a very interesting study. What the researchers did was they wanted to look at the relationship between dietary fiber and how children are able to pay attention. Now, the study published in the Journal of Nutrition in November of 2014, they took 65 children aged seven to nine years and they followed them for nine months. They had their parents re record three days per week uh, what the children's diet was like. And they re were able using that data to determine not only the fiber content of the diet, but also the omega-3 content of the diet. Now the children at the conclusion of the study underwent a test of their ability to pay attention. It's called the flanker task. And this is a test that is able to chart a child's ability to uh, maintain focus, maintain attention in the face of distraction. We need to see higher levels of accuracy, which is an indication that a child's uh, able to focus. And indeed, when you plot out uh, fiber content of the diet with accuracy on this uh, type of study, you see that higher levels of dietary fiber correlate with more accuracy. So it's telling us then that cognitive function seems to be related to dietary fiber consumption. And the authors looked at two things. They said, first, we think that it's happening because dietary fiber reduces inflammation. But in addition, we know that dietary fiber increases the production of BDNF. And what BDNF is, is a growth hormone for the brain. Uh, good for brain cells, good for neurons. So we really have to understand that the brain and its function uh, is sort of on a scale where inflammation tends to work against the brain's ability to work well. On the other side, when we weigh in favor of neurogenesis, the growth of new brain cells, which happens when BDNF that you see on the chart is higher, then it tends actually to work against inflammation, tends to offset inflammation, and does seem to be better uh, for the brain in terms of risk reduction for degeneration and even moment-to-moment uh, -moment function. So this was a really interesting study, again, showing a correlation between higher levels of dietary fiber and better ability for children to remain on task to be less distracted as demonstrated by the, the study. The flanker test is what they used. So again, uh, you know, there may be a time and a place when a medication is helpful for a child with uh, difficulties paying attention. But I think that, you know, above all, do no harm. We've got to first look at the diet. I think this is really interesting data. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Thanks for joining us.